Good day, good toss. My name is Kaden Matsukere. I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks, and welcome to Lesson 1.9 Under Market Failure. Okay, I'll start by defining market failure. Well, market failure is failure of markets to allocate resources at an optimum level. Markets have a tendency of undersupplying merit goods and oversupplying demerit goods. And so for that reason, government should intervene accordingly. Uh, by accordingly, I mean bring up or influence uh, consumption of merit goods and uh, discourage consumption or supply of demerit goods because free operating markets will oversupply these regardless. Okay, now study this graph and answer the questions that follow. Here we have uh, two production possibility curves, uh, one which is market provision and which is said to be undersupplied then two being uh, government intervention, uh, whatever it is that government is doing that could try and bring up consumption. No, not consumption. Yeah, for sure. But production or supply of these merit goods, because this already we can see if government would intervene uh, by bringing up consumption, definitely that good is a positive is is a merit good and uh, examples here we have how uh, schools and housing in thousands take note okay so each number there represents a thousand so one thousand two thousand three thousand like that okay with that said uh this one here is social op social optimal allocation uh if there was an indifference curve it would be here okay uh, that's why they are saying that then market provision the indifference curve would be there okay now let's have a look at the let me let me just run to one that has an indifference curve for you to see what i'm talking about yes this so in this case we have a ppc and an indifference curve and you see b would be the optimum f is uh unattainable e is productively and allocatively inefficient b is ideal because allocatively it's efficient production uh, along the indifference curve and productively is also efficient production along the ppc c is okay productively but allocatively it's not okay b is not good a is not good uh, even though and the reason is the same reason for c and F would be nice. Unfortunately, it's unattainable. Uh, but it wouldn't be nice because it's also not allocatively efficient. So F is allocate productively impossible and allocatively inefficient. So it's actually not nice, basically. Okay, let me go back to this one. Identify the number of houses the market would produce if the if all resources were spent on houses so where is houses if we spend all resources on houses we we'll would produce 10 if there is no government intervention or 14000 10000 or 14000 houses with with government intervention and 10000 with uh, free operating markets so if we spend all our resources on houses then we won't produce any schools so we will produce zero schools. So the answer here, identify the number of houses the market would produce if all resources were spent on houses. Oh, houses. Okay, then that would be, that would be 10,000, the market years. So the answer, oh my God. You know, I'm saying zero. Do you know why I'm saying zero? I'm thinking the question is, identify the number of schools. Oh my God. So it's 10,000, okay. Then how many schools should the government produce, provide to reach social optimum? Okay, so uh, this one, they made it too obvious. Uh, it will be, okay, they're asking schools. It will be 6,000 schools. Uh, it, it was made too obvious because they, this word, if they just say should and left out this, because should and yeah i mean that would have given it that would have made it a bit tough because someone would think maybe it's there but 
anyways is six thousand. Then briefly describe the term market failure. Well, it's failure of markets to allocate resources at an optimum level. Then why are markets reluctant to produce to producing public goods like roads? Oh my god. Roads are non excludable. They are also non rivalry. So markets will not produce that because how will they make money from something that's non excludable? Free riders will just imagine McDonald's having imagine burgers if they were non excludable. Free riders will just eat burgers. Must do you think McDonald's will still want to produce burgers if the burgers were for free? They produce them because they are excludable. Now that's why McDonald's does not make roads. They make burgers because they are excludable, and roads are none. So that's the answer. Uh, yes, non-excludable, non-rivalry, that should be on top. Then uh, how can the government ensure macroeconomic stability through their involvement in production? Well, uh, I might as well just jump to the responses. Yes, government gets involved in production in so many ways. This one is very broad. You can say way too many things. Okay, let's have a look at our responses. 10,000, that was it. That was correct, actually. Uh, let's go back and see though uh, how many houses here is 10,000. That's the mistake I had made. I was going to say zero, honestly, zero. If the question, so if you flip this houses and swap it for schools, the answer becomes zero. That would be nice. Then how many schools that we say it's six and let's have a look schools. Yes, six at optimum. This is the one that I was saying is too obvious. Then briefly describe the term market failure. It's when free markets, a free market is unable to allocate resources efficiently or the best production outcome has not been achieved. But my favorite definition is failure of markets to allocate resources at an optimum level. Then why are markets reluctant? Yes, uh, it is. it requires a huge capital outlay. Okay, even if it didn't, how would we make money? This must go down there. Uh, it is difficult to charge high prices. It's difficult to charge prices regardless. Uh, then, <clears throat> yeah, of course, we have toll gates. Yes, that can work. But would you, do you think they would still provide those other roads that are not toll roads? They wouldn't because how would they make money? <clears throat> then... Um, the nature of the good is non-rivalry. This one is the one that must be on top and this one must be also on top. Okay, uh, these are the two that I gave. Then how can government ensure macroeconomic stability through the involvement? This one is very simple. There's a lot that you can say. Government can ensure macroeconomic stability by using the monetary and fiscal policy through interest rates and corporate taxes using the supply side approach there is a lot you can say here even things that you don't see here well this brought us to the end of this particular video as always like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next video god bless